Hello, this is Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies. In this video, I'm going to discuss constraint persistence inside of Autodesk Inventor, namely some unexpected behavior you may see where the constraints don't stick or persist after the sketch is created. First, the unexpected behavior. Here I'm in my sketch environment inside of Inventor, and I'm going to sketch as I always have. And as I sketch, you can see the constraints being implied, the tangent to there, and a parallel indicated by the glyphs there, followed by a perpendicular and a coincident closing down that sketch. But now if I drag my sketch, the sketch behaves as if the constraints were not created. It's free to move and drag around. And if I right click and show all my constraints, we can see that the sketch indeed did not create the constraints. They didn't remain after that they were implied. So what causes that and how do we fix it? The constraint persistence, or lack thereof, is actually usually caused by a mispick where this button that I'm indicating here gets lifted by mistake. This button controls whether or not the constraints persist or stick after the sketch is finished. So now I've pushed that in, and I'm going to go ahead and create the exact same sketch. Everything looks exactly the same. There's the implied constraints, just like before. The parallel, perpendicular, and coincident. But now if I drag my sketch around, it behaves like I'd expect it to. The constraints are acting upon this sketch. Now if I right click and show all my constraints, you can see that the constraints indeed were created and remain there. The glyphs indicate their existence. And it's as simple as that, just one little button that gets popped up. I'm indicating it again right here. If that button gets popped up, like I said, by usually by a mispick, that can cause exactly that behavior. Really quick fix once you know where to get it. Thanks for watching, everybody, and happy inventing.